I'm listening to my karaoke mix that Spotify made for me. Hello! Hi. I'm in my car. It's already getting fucking hot. I've been in the car with the AC on for three seconds and it's getting fucking hot. Today, I'm in the car because, if I'm being honest, I enjoy sitting in my car. I just like it. Like, sometimes I get off of work, I'll get home, and I'll just sit in my car for, like, 45 minutes. It just feels comfortable. I don't know. So, we're changing up the scenery a little. This is my drink. The video. Of the video. A nice little water. I'm gonna talk about all my favorite books. All the books that I love the most. All my favorite books I've ever read in my life. Not in my life. In the past, like, three years since I started reading again. This is gonna be, like, a five-star reads, but not all the books I've rated five stars because I feel like I feel a little differently about some of the books that I've rated five stars before. So, these are gonna be, like, my all-time favorite books ever. Like, six-star reads, you know? Infinite stars. Also, I burnt my hand the other day in my oven, trying to get my oatmeal out. So... It literally didn't hurt until yesterday because I accidentally put fucking hand sanitizer on it and it started burning and it wouldn't stop even after I like washed it off. So it's been hurting ever since then. I don't know what's going on. Alright, we're starting from... <clears throat> Oh my gosh, there's sandwich crumbs everywhere. I cut my hair this morning. I just did layers, you can't even tell. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. We're starting from the beginning of when I first started reading again. I used to love reading when I was a kid, and then I stopped reading for a while, and then I got into reading again maybe like seven years ago, and I had a little bookstagram, and I was reading, but I wasn't reading a lot at all. Like I read Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom, and I remember that being so good. But I'm not gonna include that in this because I haven't read that in so long, and I don't remember my feelings on it. So I'm gonna read that again eventually. But I'm starting off at like three years ago when I really got into reading again. Actually, it was I believe February of 2020. It's fucking hot, dude. Give me some AC real quick. I don't fucking sweat right now. I'm really sweating. I'm not gonna lie right now. We're starting off with my number one favorite series I've ever read in my entire life to this day. I haven't found anything that tops it and it might also be like the hit of like nostalgia for this being like my first series that got me back into reading. It's the Cruel Prince series, the Folk of Air series. This series is my favorite thing that I've ever read. I just love it so much. Like so much. It really solidified my love for reading. It had everything that I wanted. The fit fairy tale-ness, the, the enemies to lovers. This, the first book at least, is very like plot and then we're sprinkling, sprinkling some romance. That fucking sprinkle of romance is still to this day one of the best ones I've read. Best enemies to lovers I've read in my life. I don't know. I don't know how people don't like this book. This is the one series where I'm like, I don't want to hear any criticisms. You don't like the book, I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to hear about it because it's a masterpiece in my mind. So this The Cruel Prince, The Wicked King, and The Queen of Nothing. I read this series in like a week, I think. The fairies. <sighs> so good. Read the series if you like fantasy. I need to reread that series so bad, dude. Anyways, five stars for every single book in that series. Number one. I have my books basically ranked. My top favorites. Uh, in my mind, up here the ranked. Moving on. End of that year, I read Where the Crawdads Sing. Is this one of my favorite books of all time? Probably not, but I gave it five stars. It was good. I liked it. This is supposed to be my favorite books of all time. I don't know, because it's been so long, but like, I liked it a lot. Then, the end, end of that year, I read Court of Thorns and Roses. You know, there's a pipeline, and a main factor in that pipeline is reading Akatar, and I still love this series so much. I want to read this, reread this series, too. The Found Family. Oh my gosh. I love this series so much. Cassian is my favorite book boyfriend to this day. I love Cassian so much. He's everything I want. Hear that universe? Cassian. Court of Thorns and Roses, Court of Mist and Fury, A Court of Wings and Ruin. Like, I remember reading the first one and being so hooked just by like the atmosphere and like the sprinkle of spiciness. You know, the next one I was not expecting the little plot twist that we all know by now probably. Ugh, just all the characters in, in this book are so fucking good. They're all so good. I want to hug all of them. I want to be a part of their group. I love them each so much. I think this is my second favorite series. Then I was like, oh, this author knows what she's doing. Let me read another book by her. So I read House of Earth and Blood, Crescent City number one, and I read it to five stars. I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember anything from this book. I still haven't read the second one because I don't remember anything and I don't want to reread it because it's a big ass fucking book. I remember like the beginning like i remember certain things happening but i don't remember i don't remember the middle i feel like i remember the end a little what happened in the middle i couldn't tell you a single fucking thing but i remember being good i remember having a great time i remember liking the characters i don't remember liking hunt 
the main dude. I don't remember liking him, but I do remember liking the book. I'm kind of mad because I haven't read the second book, right? Been avoiding spoilers, been dodging them. And they post the, the cover, the third book, and on the next slide, they talk about like the, the bonus chapters. And there's a spoiler. I didn't even think it was a spoiler. I didn't even think about it until I like saw someone being like, why would they post a spoiler on this? And then I looked at it like a dumbass and realized what the spoiler was. And I was like, oh, fuck. Oh, been dodging spoilers and you just spoiled that shit for me. So that's a good book. Next is another series, kind of. I don't like the whole series from Blood and Ash. The first two books, I'm not gonna lie, were so good. Like I had this like emptiness inside of me after reading The Cruel Prince and Agatar and not finding anything that was giving me that same feeling. There was something missing and this gave me those vibes but only the first two books anything after that was just not for me so from blood and ash and a kingdom of flesh and fire both of those were so good i think this would have been one of my top favorite series if the later on books didn't get weird and kind of like what are we doing but like it was good like the plot twist it had like similar fantasy vibes enemies to lovers to enemies to lovers was there and i love i still love the main characters and like their relationship a lot they're so cute he would have fucking died for her he would do literally anything for her anything don't even have to ask he's he's fucking bleeding himself dry he's falling at the altar literally so good i'm so I'm still upset about the the third book i never even continued it after that hear me out on this one okay verity by colleen hoover i know a lot of people hate colleen hoover i don't know why i don't know i don't know what's going on with that but verity was good this was like my first thriller mystery book i liked it i liked the ending if you don't know what the fuck's going on and you have to like make your own assumption i liked the twists i thought it was good i didn't know what was happening i didn't see what was ah coming so i liked it a lot it was creepy it was crazy like damn still even thinking about that i'm like damn what if it was that because that's fucked up if it was that that's real fucked up if it wasn't it's not but like we don't know then the deal by l kennedy hear me out on this one too this was just fun this was entertaining was it a masterpiece in writing no it was entertaining it was fun the fake dating i'm sure this was fake dating the college romance this was my first hockey romance it was what i needed at the moment and it was very good so many of these, I'm like, do I talk about these? Is this considered my favorite? Mm. One of my other top favorite series, which a lot of people hate, is Zodiac Academy. I never finished it, but book four and book five, I both rated five stars. I think before that, they were like four stars. But book four and book five, like, were so good. And the, the dynamic of all, all of them at that point is just so good like when they're at the fucking like palace or whatever the fuck i don't know what it was and they're like having a snowball fight dude i just love them so i i read book five and i started book six but i was like the rest of the books aren't out and all i'm getting all i was getting at that point was pain at the end of these books and i think when i stopped reading only seven was out eight wasn't out yet i think eight was supposed to be in the last book but then they announced it was gonna be nine books it was just pain and someone was like the end of the sixth book pain the end of the seventh Seventh book worst pain and i was like i need to wait until all the books are out or i'm not gonna be okay because what the fuck i'm not a big fan of bully romances but i did like the enemies to lovers like tori and um uh, what's his name darius why do i want to say darius is that his name oh my gosh i literally don't even remember right now i'm having a brain fart anyway whatever the dude's name that she's with they were so cute like the shit that happens between them i'm like damn that is fucked up i just want them to be together i just like like the setting of it like the atmosphere of like this magical fucking school i think it's good i enjoy it and love it dearly i read all the books that i read in on kindle and then i'm purchasing all of the paperbacks because i was like this shit is so fucking good i love it oh then we have the love hypothesis this was my favorite romance for a little bit i have a new favorite now this is probably like my third favorite romance <laughs> it was so cute it was so good adam and olive i love them the fucking fake dating fake dating is gonna get me anytime any any day any time it's gonna get me and it's gonna hold me and it's gonna grab my attention and there's nothing i can do about that it's gonna it's gonna provide and it's gonna give and it's just i don't know something about it is perfect that was a good ass fucking book it was cute as hell 
Let me tell you that right now. I love that book so much. If you haven't read that book, go read it right now. Next, we have my all-time favorite romance book that I've ever read in my entire life, Book Lovers by Emily Henry. Anything Emily Henry writes is on this list. Like, I also read People We Meet on Vacation and Beach Read, and both of those were also extremely good, but Book Lovers is my favorite book by her. It's my favorite standalone book ever. Like, not just romance, just standalone book ever. So fucking good. And I think it's because, like, it's a romance that I can see myself in. You know what I mean? <sighs> Charlie and Nora fucking, fucking murder me, dude. Listen, the fact that they were just on the same page about life and like everything, I'm gonna say a little teeny thing about the book. So if you don't wanna know a single thing about this book, skip the next 20 seconds. The fact that neither of them wanted, wanted kids and like it was okay just made me feel so scene that whole part where they're talking about how they don't want kids and like why i was like bitch that was the first time i've ever seen that in a romance and i that is how i feel and like i've never seen that or like i've never experienced a romance book that was like that like all of its epilogue is them getting married and having a bunch of children and i'm like yeah like great that's cool but like I never saw myself in that. I think that's why I love it so much. And just, oh my gosh, just their relationship, their, their love for each other. The way he like gets her and they're like the same person. Like he accepts her for what she wants that's not in like the norm. And he wants the same shit. It's not just accepting her, he wants that shit too. Nothing will ever top that. I just wanna thank Emily Henry for writing that for me. You don't know how much I needed that. I have literally never felt more seen. And when that fucking movie comes out, that is gonna be on repeat. It's ingrained in my soul. Another romance. You deserve each other by I lost my place. Sarah Hoggle. It was great. It was amazing. Truly loved it so much. I am not the biggest fan of second chance romance, but this did it right. And I enjoyed it so much. The dynamic and the 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 hate but the love. I don't even remember. What were the characters' names? I don't know. I can tell you. I remember mother being a fucking bitch. That's what I remember. Then we have Happy Place by Emily Henry. Come on now. Emily Henry can just not do wrong. I think like i swear she could just can't it's just not in her it's not in her soul to do wrong happy place was so good but it was so painful for me like that shit made me realize things i loved the relationship and like this was another like second chance dude i'm fucking it's getting moist in here let me tell you that right now no i need like a minute the friend group was so good but like the ending damn moving on fourth wing like come on what did you think was it gonna happen fourth wing was definitely gonna make it on this list i'm ready for the second book i've talked about fourth wing enough on this channel where like it doesn't need to happen again but it is happening because it deserves a place on this list i love some dragons i love some enemies to lovers the ending the plot twist the things I did not expect in this book, they happened, and it just was so fucking good. The atmosphere. It's the atmosphere that always really gets me in fantasy books. Like, that's what really gets me, because I, it's me. When I'm reading this, I'm Violet. I have the silver ends. I am, you know, fighting life or death. I'm at this fucking war college, about to get my dragon. Like, you know what I mean? Like, this is me. So, like, feeling like I'm in it, and, like, being able to know what's going on and, like, where I am is so good. And the Scenes with Violet and Zayden. Mmm, so fucking good, dude. I could eat that out any fucking day. Like the scene in the room. The scene in the room. Praise the Lord. That's all I gotta say right now. Ah, damn. God damn. And then we have Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren. This book, Macy and Elliot, I love them so fucking much. When you find out what's been happening or what happened, it literally will rip your heart out of your chest and just shred it. It's childhood, friends, to strangers, to lovers. The amount of love in this book, the amount of fucking love is just astronomical. Like, I can't even comprehend it. They just... Oh, they love each other so much and they're just so connected. Oh. oh, last but not least, we have my most recent read, Binding 13. Let me tell you something about this book. It's just pain. This book was amazing, but I wish I didn't read it right now. Like, I wish I didn't start it at this point in my life because I just got to the point where, like, I'm reading. Like, I was reading, like, a book every two, three days type of a lot. And, of course, this shit puts me in a fucking slump. I'm sure the second book 
book's gonna be on this list as well. I haven't finished it. I'm like 100 pages in. I've been trying to read it for literally like a week and I just cannot. It's just such a, there's, it's such a big fucking book and it's not the book's fault. Like I wanna read it and I wanna know what happens but it's such a big book and you're reading so much and the words are so small and it's, I'm honestly like, I keep putting it off because it's so big and I'm like, this is gonna take me forever to finish. I need to read something smaller. Like I wanna read something quick. I just enjoy finishing a book. I don't know, like I just love the feeling of like, I did that, I read that book. And when it's a book that's taking me forever and I'm every time I read it, I feel like I'm reading 300 pages, but I'm reading 10, it hurts me because I feel like I'm not doing anything and I feel unproductive. So that's what this book is doing to me. Like it's good, it's fucking good. Johnny and Shannon deserve the world. And the quotes in this book are so good. I've, I highlighted and tabbed so much of the first book. And like some painful fucking shit has happened. And I just don't know if I'm at the point in my life where I need to be reading about that. Like I'm trying to read to escape from the painful stuff. And you're giving me more. And I just don't know if I can handle it right now. I need some fluff. I need some, I need some fun. It's so good though. I just wish I, d I read it at a different time because I feel like I can't read the second book right now because it's a lot. That is a book I'm gonna be thinking about for the rest of my life and will impact me forever. He just wants to protect her. And now that's another thing too. I have some books, I'll like start skimming but this book I don't want to do that because I need to know every moment every thought every action every movement but then it's taking me three years that is all my books all my favorite books I've ever read top favorite books of my life I just love talking about my favorite books talk about every day let me know down below what your favorite book is ever that's it for this video hope you enjoyed listening to me talk about my favorite books hope you maybe got some recommendations from this Can you see that I'm sweating all right I'm gonna go to Target now love you guys see you in my next video bye I'm sweating so Sorry, my I know how to stop. What that fucking AC, seriously?